Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina from Japan. Today I have something to tell you. It's a sad story or bad story. Just between you and me, my cholesterol level is higher than the average. So I got the physical checkup this past June and the result is higher by 10. So it seems that if I could do well, I, I could do more. I could reduce um, it to the average level. And yeah, it may be true. Oh, so to be honest with you, now I work as a regular worker and all the workers working at my current workplace can take physical checkups every six months for free and yeah i'm very you know i'm not satisfied with that because i've been confident that i'm very health conscious when i was 10 years old i first um, became interested in uh, going on a diet and i stopped eating particular foods such as you know oily food or carbohydrates and but I shouldn't do that at uh, you know such a early age because you know children need uh, good food to be growing up right and when I was about 15 years old I went on a diet for the second um, the second time because I fell in love with a boy who was not interested in me at all so in order to get his attention I decided to reduce weight and eventually believe it or not I reduced weight uh, by 10 kilograms which is about uh, 18 pounds in three months that uh, it seems that I was successful in you know, reducing weight but I didn't look nicer than before instead you know my skin was not shiny anymore and I uh, had a lot of spread hair because I didn't get enough nutrition. My period stopped and I realized that I did something wrong and I had to, you know, do it in a different way. So uh, after that, I studied nutrition by myself and yeah, on top of that, I added exercise habit and uh, I tried to do like, uh, you know, lifting weights and do aerobics on a regular basis and it paid off okay so to be honest with you the reason why you know I uh, my blood my cholesterol level became higher than the average recently is because you know secretly I ate a lot of ramen last year because I was not addicted to ramen but you know, last summer I visited one of the most popular ramen shops around here and I was very, you know, surprisingly it was so tasty that I expected to become addicted to you know, ramen. And after that I visited various kinds of, you know, famous ramen shops to try to compare uh, one with another. Uh, on top of that, I ate hamburgers and pizzas and some other westernized food as well because I don't know as as far as the last year is was concerned I was not health conscious at all so because of that you know the result told me that I did you know I did more I should have done more to control to take care of my health especially you know compared to uh, when I was a teenager and growing up and I'm no longer young so I have to be more careful about my diet and nutrition and uh, exercising habit so since this past June I changed my eating habits so I no longer eat so many ramen but yeah I Allowed, I allow myself to eat ramen uh, at the most two times a month and yes except for that I eat brown rice, natto fermented soybeans with 
raw egg, which is very rich in protein and tofu and fish instead of meat. Okay, so but what is difficult for me to you know be motivated uh, until the next physical checkup, which will be carried out this coming December. You know, four months away, it's very long. Uh, yes, but uh, so it's very long. I need to get some figures to know my current physical condition. So in order to know that. I check my weight every morning and well to be honest with you I've reduced weight by 1.5 kilograms which is about 3 pounds in one and a half months and moreover okay, so I can check blood pressure level that I got yesterday at the gym Okay, let me show you. This is my yesterday's blood pressure level. It is 87 over 56 and the figure is very good. So, so, uh, so luckily at my sports gym, uh, all the members can you know, get their blood pressure level for free and I think that I have to make good, good use of it. Okay, so all right. If you have same troubles, or if you have been trying to, you know, get healthy, uh, I'd like you to guys uh, share your, you know, experiences or what you're trying to achieve with me. And thank you for watching this video. And stay safe. And see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.